Hello friends, welcome to my channel Hira Techies. Today I am going to explain how to deploy our .NET Core Web API application in IAS server. For doing this deployment, already I am having one created application. The application version is .NET 7.0. So it is having different functionalities such as CRUD actions, image upload, logging, minimal API and the JWT token generation. Okay. So once we completed the deployment, we can verify these functionalities also. The steps are very simple. First, we have to publish our solution from the Visual Studio. In order to, we can get the build file. And next, we have to install one package that is IES runtime support. So if you already installed the hosting bundle, no need to install okay and finally we have to create one new site in our IA server there we have to do some basic configuration changes finally we have to map our build file into our site okay so this is all about the steps now we can start our deployment first let me create the build file so in our application right click and publish so I am having already created one profile. So anyway, let me create a new profile. So if you are doing the first time, you will get a screen like this. So here, let me choose this folder. So instead of the deployment, we can create one new folder. Okay. And let me click this finish. So it is creating one new published profile so we can close this one and then click show all settings and here just to click delete all existing files prior to publish because so if you are doing the publish the first time it is fine so the second time obviously we have to overwrite the files okay so that's what we are clicking this option now let me click this save and other items are fine this configuration release target framework 7.0 the deployment mode and the target runtime so if you want change based on your requirement you have to change accordingly okay now let me click this save now let me trigger our publish so basically it will take some time and it will generate the build file so meanwhile we can go to our IA server So in this IA server, in the site section, just right click and add website. First we have to provide our site name. So let me provide my APA. And then physical path, we have to choose our deployment path here. So here we can choose this LAN APA. And in this binding site, I am using this HTTP only. So then this port, the default value 8 is showing. I believe it is working in some other sites. So let me change this into 86. And finally we can click OK. So once it is done, just to go to this application pools. So there we can see our newly created application pool, my APA. And right click, basic settings. So there this .NET CLR version since this is the .NET Core application change this into no managed code so if you are using any version of .NET Core this is the common step only you don't choose this .NET CLR version so we have to choose this no managed code okay now let me click OK okay the publish also completed we can see this text okay now let me check our deployment path so inside this LAN IP, we have all the files, okay? Next in our IES server, we can refresh this one. And also I'm just restarting. We can browse this URL. Okay, we got a response like this. Okay, we are getting this 404 error. So let me duplicate this page. So instead of this swagger, I'm going to use our minimal API URL. So it is returning the response. Okay. So that means we successfully completed our deployment, but in our swagger is not working. 
So the reason is when we created the application, we have the default configuration for our Swagger. Okay. So if you checked in our program.cs file, so they enabled this Swagger for only the development. Okay. Now we are hosted in the AS server. So there the environment may be different. So that we can check later. So before that we can completely enable this Swagger. Okay. For that, let me comment this section. Let me publish once again. Just right click and publish. So already we have this profile, so then no need to create once again. So just to click this publish. Now it is not going to take much time. Okay, the publish is completed. Now let me go back to our IA server. I'm just uh, refreshing this one and we can stop and start once again. Now let me refresh this one. See now it is working. So 86 is our base URL. And after that, if you provide swagger, it will redirect into swagger slash index.html page. So there we can see all of our methods. Okay. First we can start from this basic methods. Okay. There is no logic involved. So this is simply returning the string value that is fine and we can pass some parameters. Okay, this one also working fine and now trying to fetch the customer. Okay, we are getting this 500 internal server error, but actually this function worked fine in our local. Okay, for getting more details, we can check our log file for the log file. We can get from our log path. So that actually we have defined in our app.settings. So it is available in this path only. So this is my log path. Let me open this one. Okay, see, we got an error like cannot open our database. The requested by login, the login is failed. Okay, so in our application, we used this windows authentication okay but it is working fine in our local through the ia server it is not having the enough permission so that's what we got an error so let me change this windows authentication to sql authentication okay just to go to our ia server first stop this one and then right click and explorer so it is redirecting into our deployment path So they are in this app settings.json just to open this one. So instead of this trusted connection to provide your username and password. Okay. So once it is done, just to close the file and again back to our IA server and start once again. So before that, if you refreshed that also fine. Now go back to our browser side. We can execute the same function. It is working fine. Okay. So now our database connection also fine and we verified the log and we have verified some of the basic methods. Okay. So now I am trying to generate one token. So we are able to generate the token also and the finally very important thing is upload functionality. So we can go back to our product here. I'm trying to upload the single file. Maybe I can provide the product code is 001. I'm choosing this one, this bar. So let me execute this one. So we got the 200 response. So next we can get the same image providing the same product code. So we got our image URL. See now it is working fine. Okay. And similarly we can verify the download from surety also.
see we are able to download the same file and finally we can remove this one 001 so once it is downloaded again I am trying to click this get image I am getting the format for error because it's already removed okay similarly we can check the multiple file upload 002 I am provided as the product code I am uploading this bat and also this pad so let me execute once again and this get multi image 002 so we are getting these two image URLs the first one is for bat and the second one is for the ball So bat is working fine and also our ball is working fine. Okay, why it is not working? Let me verify. It's not a ball, actually a pad. Okay. So the upload functionality also working fine. And the final one is Excel export. So downloaded the Excel file. Okay, the Excel file also working fine. Okay, great. We have successfully completed our deployment. Still, if you have any doubts or clarification, please post in the comment box. And also, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching.